What's up, you guys? What's really, really good? Oh my gosh, you guys. So, I think we're gonna be getting our nails done. Hi, I was wondering if I can make an appointment for a pedicure and a full set. Yes, when do you want to come? Uh, can I actually come in today at 12? At 12? Okay, sure. Um, who will the appointment be with? So who then first will be like, help you with your, um, your, your, your set? Yes, she can help you at 12. Okay, perfect. Uh, I'll see you yes, at 12. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank bye. you. Bye. Ooh. All right, guys, we are going to be getting our nails done today. And as you guys know, I haven't had nails in actually exactly two months. Last time I got my nails done was with Liz and it was at my house. She came over and two months ago, I had the Christmas nails. They were beautiful. I love them. They were chef's kiss. I have had a break from nails for the past two months. And I have personally loved it. I think it looks great. I love the accessibility of it. I love how easy it is to grab everything. I love how just simple life is when you have no nails. But I actually was watching one of my old videos, like one of my sit down videos, like from last year. And my long, beautiful nails look so pretty. <sighs> so I was like, you know what? Este si ya se puede acá. Está bien. O sea, aguantate. You can do your nails and you can have popping nails and we're gonna start off small. So I think where I made the error before is I've gone from having no nails to having really long nails and I'm not used to it. So a la primera vez que me las agarro, I'm like, oh my God, it hurts so bad. So I figured if I start off small and I just get little tiny nails, just little tiny nails, I can kind of grow back into it. So we're not gonna have anything super shocking or super long or super insane today, but we are gonna get our nails back and I figure I would bring you with me because I know you love when I get my nails done. You guys, I am nervous because I kind of really want to get back into wearing nails. Like, it was so cute when I had them. And as you guys know, like, I've been on this whole kick of, like, oh, I want to be more, like, classy and less, like, flamboyant and less out there in your face. But I think there's a good way in which you can do long nails and have them look real classy, real nice, real neat, you know? And I just got to find that middle ground that works for me. So, as always, we're going to try to make it work today. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm actually thinking that I want to do something that's red. Um actually inspired by this cup i got this cup yesterday at marshall's and this cup is beautiful i love this cup if you guys don't know i'm addicted to tumblers this is a tumbler and i found this one yesterday and the red and the pink remind me of valentine's day vibes and i was like oh my god why don't i get like valentine's day nails um i think we're still like three weeks away from valentine's day but do you guys think that would be a cute idea? Like something red and pink? <clears throat> I actually had red and pink nails a long time ago, like years ago. And they were one of my favorite sets. Um, it's just really hard to combine the two colors and make them look good, you know? Because you're running a risk. They're two clashing colors, but they're two colors that look beautiful together. So this is the inspiration behind the nails today. It's either this or I'm just gonna walk out with nude nails, like one or the other. The black nails were super cute. I love them. You guys were so right when you told me that I had to do thinner layers when it came to the black nail polish. You guys were right because that did work even though the thumb kind of ended up chipping a little bit. But today we're gonna have long nails again and I am kind of scared. I am really excited, but more than anything, I am thrilled to have a patacure because I haven't had a, I haven't had a patacure in like over two months, and bish, I need it. Like, if anybody knows how picky I am about my pedicures, I've talked about it on my videos before. I get like this little baby ingrowns, and if they're not taken out, TMI. I'm sorry if this is too much, but girl, you clicked on this video, so here we are. Anyway, I get these little like ingrowns. Asco, ya sé, ¿no? Pero if I don't get somebody that's really good at doing pedicures, no, bitch. I will literally cry for the next two weeks until I have to get a pedicure again. So this spot where I came here before, there's this girl who does them or this lady, and she's really good. And, like, she doesn't understand me, and I don't understand her, but just con señales nos, nos entendemos, you know? Because she will be doing it, and then I'll tell her, like, oh, I have a little, like, little skin. Ouch. And then she's like, oh, yes, I got it. And, like, she goes like this, and I'm like, yes, I love you. And then she goes in there and, like, gets it, and then... 
like she's doing it and i'm looking like i literally look at her while she's doing my pedicure like just out of excitement you know if you've ever had an ingrown you know exactly what this feels like i'm just looking at her and then she's like doing it and she's like good and i'm like perfect and then when she finally does it she's like it's good and then i'm like it's perfect thank you i love you thank you so much you're like a lifesaver so I am very particular about who does my pedicures. I found a great pedicurist here and I figure I would get my nails now. I would get my acrylics back. <laughs> I'm nervous, ah! but you guys, nails make me feel like a bad bitch. I think a two month break from acrylics is a really good time to have a break. My nails are healthy, they are strong, they are back. And I think a break every like six months is probably gonna be good. There was a time where I would go all out and I would just get nails nonstop. Two months without having nails, I could probably go six months with having them. We're gonna see what we get into. I'm kind of nervous. I'm really excited. We're gonna see how much I pay because this is a place where I ended up paying 120 for a basic nude set with just some diamonds on it. So I'm gonna go over some inspo pictures just so that I'm ready. First of all, I saw these and I was like, oh my God, these are beautiful. But honestly, those are too long for me right now. I can't do those right now. And then a part of me sees nails like this and I'm like, why can't I just be like this and love nails like this? They look really cute, but bitch, I gotta accept my long nail life. Like I, I am in a phase in my life where I still like long nails, so I'm like, I'm gonna enjoy it for as much as I can. Cause there's gonna come a point in my life where I'm not gonna like long nails anymore. Like, I don't like them as much as I used to before. So if I, if I have an itch to get long nails, I'm gonna go with it, I'm gonna let myself enjoy it, and I'm gonna get the long nails. I'm gonna go in there, I'll see you guys after. I have therapy first, and then I'll see you guys after that. Okay, I'm back. So I went to look at my nails then. First of all, it took years. It didn't take years, but basically what happened is I walked in, I didn't have an appointment. And so they put me to get my pedicure first. And then after my pedicure, one of the guys that works there took me in to do my actual nails. So I, oh, let me tell you guys, I got my nails done and I was leaving and I was like, like I started doing like, you know when you're singing, you just got your fresh, your, your nails done and you're like, you're singing and you just feel the song different because you got your nails so you could be like, yes, yes, girl, yes. You know, like you just feel it in your soul. I don't know what it is about having nails, but when you have nails, you just feel the songs deeper. You just want to be like, everything's great in my life, but I just was feeling those breakup songs like, yes, tell them, girl, you know? So anyway, um, the guy took me in. Well, first of all, my pedicure, 10 out of 10. I love that lady. She gives the best leg massages and feet massages ever. Oh my gosh, she was giving me a massage and like, I was like, oh my God, this feels so nice. And then her time there went off and I was like, wow, she was timing it. <laughs> but anyway, so she did a great job in my patecure. Do not worry, you do not have to see it. I know if you wanna see it, don't worry, you're also not gonna see it. But anyway, so after I went to go get my hands done and the guy was like, oh, do you have any idea of what you want? And I showed him a picture just like, Cause I wanted something red, but I wanted something different, you know? And I showed him a picture of what my nails look like right now. And he's like, oh, okay, I could do that, cool. Boom. So, me sienta, and then as soon as me sienta, he starts doing my nails, filing, blah, blah, blah. And then, first of all, I do gotta say, I'm just gonna show you my nails. Here we are. I'm gonna show you my nails, here we go. This is what my nails look like, you guys. So we got a cute little small set. I feel like these nails are small. They're super cute. And as you guys can tell, we have that angle cut that goes to the side and then we have a little bit of the gold flakes that are on it. So I showed him these nails and he was like, oh, okay, cool. I was in between these nails and like a regular like French, red French, um, red French, what, what am I saying? A regular French, no, a regular French tip in the color red. He went ahead and picked these and I was like, okay, cool. So when he told me how long, I was like, oh, shorter, shorter. So this length, I feel like it's a really great length to begin. I can grab things, I can do things, I can be on my phone comfortably. It's still kind of hard to type on the computer, but you have to get used to that. And then one of the things, this is gonna be gross, but one of the things that I love to do that I can't do when I have nails on, he was like, I think it's gross, but I have to say it. And no, it's not using the bathroom. One of the things that I love to do is like popping my pimples. And when I have nails, I can't do it. So I literally, as soon as I got my nails on, I was like, oh, I should have gone on it on my face. But it's kind of good because at least I won't cause myself scars on my face. He started, the shape is bomb. You guys, he did a really great job with the shape and the length. I feel like this is exactly what I wanted. It looks 
fabulous. It looks fantastic. So the nude is acrylic and the red is nail polish. And then the gold flakes are just gold flakes. Now, I'm not gonna lie, when he first did the angular red, I was like, oh, okay, that's cute. Like, I really, really like it. And when he started adding the gold flakes, I was like, oh, I kind of messed up. I should have gone without the gold flakes. Just because I feel like the gold flakes makes it look like, I don't know, it just doesn't look cute. The shape, 10 out of 10. The length, 10 out of 10. The work from the guy who actually did my nails, 10 out of 10. I just think it was my fault for picking the gold flakes on top of the red. I don't know, when I saw them in the pictures, they look really nice. But now seeing them on myself, I feel like the gold on top of the red looks a little bit like gaudy if you will i don't know man what do you guys think i'm not feeling it 100 percent but i feel like it's probably gonna grow on me and eventually i'm gonna end up loving them i really hope that's the case because this length and this shape makes my hands look really cute real classy real lengthy real long um but i think it's the gold flakes with the red that i'm not being convinced by a hundred percent like it just doesn't give me classy vibes with the red i was like oh yes classy with the gold flakes i was like oh not so classy i messed up but then you know once he started doing one nail, I was like, oh, yeah, like ugly. <laughs> you know when you want to tell them something and then they're already so working so hard and you're like, oh, I don't want to say anything. So I didn't say anything, especially, I don't know, if you guys are nail techs, let me know. But I think it's kind of hard to take this gold flakes off once you've already started, right? And I didn't want to make them, like, take the whole nail off for him to start all over again. So I was like, you know what, let it go, it's fine. Two weeks with these nails, I can survive. I will survive, it's gonna be okay. So, that's my dilemma. I didn't tell him anything. Now, when I see them like this, I'm like, yes, they look super good. Even in the viewfinder, I'm loving them. But I don't know what it is about like in real life, que no me convencen. Like maybe it's because I don't wear a lot of red myself. But remember, I'm doing the red spiration for February, which I'm vibing with. Um, but what do you guys think? Does it look cute? Do my nails look cute? Bitch, echeme porras por favor y díganme que se ven cute porque if you guys say they look cute, I'm gonna feel better about them. If you guys say they don't look cute, pues I'm gonna keep them anyway, pero pues tan siquiera be nice to me, you know? <laughs> This is a great length to come back for the first time after two months of not having nails. I literally timed it. It's been two months. So this is a great length. I'm going to see how I hold on with them. I saw girls at the nail shop getting nails that were like super long and they just look so bomb. I was like, oh my God, I should just get my nails long. And then I was like, no, I shouldn't because that's what I do. I get them really long and then in two days I'm over them because I'm, me las estoy agarrando or I can do things. So I was like slow and steady, just kind of start from the beginning, get a cool color, and then train yourself to get long nails back. So having long nails is a mood. Acrylics, I don't know what it is about acrylics, but it just like, it kind of like brings, brings life into you, you know? Like you could be bummy like this, and then as soon as you got your nails on, you're like telling people what to do, you're telling people where to go, you're wanting people to ask you for directions, you're wanting to text so that you could be like, I didn't miss having nails. I'm gonna see how I hold over with them. And I'm excited to kind of see what kind of designs we can come up with. And I'm excited to see, I don't know, to just kind of see if we're still filling the nail videos. I, I'm excited. So I'm gonna see how I do with them. You guys, please let me know. Oh my gosh, I haven't even told you how much I paid for them, huh? Duh, that is literally the whole purpose of this video. Okay, so I actually, I actually don't know how much I paid because I got my pedicure and my manicure at the same time. So I can tell you how much I paid for everything. Altogether, I ended up paying $135 for a pedicure and for these for a brand new set, which I actually think it's a really reasonable price because I use gel polish on my toes. And you always know that with the gel polish, it adds $10. And then it was a fresh set with the little design on all the nails. I think the pedicure was 35 plus 10, 45. So then that means the nails were like, 85? I don't know, it's not horrible at math, hold on. Nails were like around $90. What do you guys think? For these, would you pay $90? I don't know. Yes, I would because of the shape. To me, shape is way more important than anything else, like how bedazzle or how blingy they look. Like to me, there's so many times where girls, not where girls, but where nail techs will literally just have like such ugly shape and just throw a bunch of glitter and a bunch of like diamonds on it to kind of distract you from the shape. 
I rather have plain nails that have bomb ass shape because to me that is more important. The guy who did my nails did a really good job. His hand painting design was on point. The only thing I didn't like was the red, I mean the gold flakes, but that was on me because I asked for them and I didn't tell him that I didn't like them. But I hope that they grow up into me and that I just kind of get used to them if you will i ended up paying 155 for everything which i think is a reasonable price oh my gosh you guys 155 is a reasonable price i would pay that again and again especially because of my pedicure my pedicure was like the most chef's kiss thing i have ever experienced i love getting pedicures you guys it is a godly experience on earth if you haven't yet go get a pedicure girl let me tell you let someone spoil you let someone massage your legs let someone just make you feel taken care of because it is so worth it that's gonna be it for me let me know what you thought about these nails what did you think about the red with the gold flakes what did you think about the shape what did you think about the price if you're a nail tech do you charge her on that price if you get your nails done would you pay this much for a pedicure and a manicure 155 with tip included or do you think it's too much? How much do they charge around your area? Let me know. I'm trying to find out how I feel about it. Um, but hopefully he's not growing to me. Pray for me, everybody. I'm gonna try and dress like so that they match. Cause look, right now I'm wearing like baby blue leggings. Y no le va muy bien, you know? No se ve cute. No se ve muy cute. But these are my nails. Welcome me back into the nail family, bitches. I was gone for two months. Hopefully we can continue to make these videos. Ya me están corriendo los pinches players. Ya empezaron a hacer construction. So I gotta go. Las quiero mucho. Please subscribe if you haven't. Um, like this video. Me llamo Ticia. Se puede acá. Quiere mucho respeto. Te más. Que Dios te bendiga. Nos see you in the next video. Bye.